Connecticut recidivism rate is 49%. Scrip was created so that everyone has a second chance. In the halfway house, you could go there, you could get, get in your bed, twiggle your toes, get on your phone, doing everything, but you're not investing in yourself. But yet they want you to come out and be a different person. I could take you to my office. I could show you the business plans I had ever since I was in prison. We got all of these services for you that comes to you. Career development. We got the financial literature. We got a nutritionist that was coming in here for lunch and dinner. All of these wrapped around services we have so a guy's got to invest in themselves. You, you get punished twice. You know, uh, for those who committed the crime, you know, have to do the time. And after you commit, after you do the time, you come home into society and you get punished again. I found it hard for me to, you know, get a job. So I find myself just keep going back to the same old ways, same habits and things of that nature. And um, I got sick and tired of it. One day of trauma can cause a lifetime of pain. You come home and you say you need help and you come to script. And it's a challenge for each and every single one of you. So what's special about script, they're taking the time to implement a program that's structured around your needs mentally, you know what I'm saying? As well as physical. Script attacks the main thing I feel that's a problem which is the trauma. Uh, once we understand our traumas, you know, and then put forth the effort to try to help get over it, um, a lot of people won't be doing the things that they're doing now. Guys was in jail most of the time because they was getting high. So when you send these guys out to get jobs, that, tr that could trigger them because they don't, got, they, they, they don't got their base covered. My whole approach is rediscover who you are. That was then. This is now. Freedom is a state of mind. It's accepting of yourself and others. Freedom is a choice that we give ourselves to be able to grow. We're not no saints. We did crime. We dealt with life the best way we know how. How could we be a better person? We just need better support. Ed is a beautiful brother, man. He, he has a, a beautiful vision, you know, and um, he's determined. Can we talk about the, the work call you just received? Oh, man, <laughs> you know, well, again, see, that's the determination of uh, Ed, man, you know. So I just got a call just now from the Hartford Hospital, you know, um, getting ready to set up an interview. So he's helping us actually, you know, find career jobs, you know, which is something that this is my first ever in my life, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited. The trajectory for me is just to be in a uh, place where I'm doing good and helping other people do good as well. That's good enough for me. This is my dream. It's not even about me, an individual. It's about what I want to do for my community. You got people like the Harford Foundation who support people's dreams and visions. This is what I've been trying to do for the longest. I just needed a helping hand. And they gave me that, they gave me both their hands. Wherever there's a inner city, I think is a demand for what we do.